Kanoa Ranch, I, would, I like to think that you can expect the unexpected. And that's just what's happened over the past few years. Hi, I'm Brian Nicholas, and I was just talking about Kanoa Ranch. 2017, we had the lake that was put in. From that time, in 2018, our species list went from 166 up, uh, and we added 37 new species. And that is basically unheard of. So the next year, we thought maybe it'd calm down, but we added 36 new species in 2019. And already this year, we have 10 new species that have been added to the list. So we're at a grand total of 250 species right now. The fifth hottest hotspot in Pima County. And we're within two species of becoming the third hottest hotspot around. And what's nice about the lake here is that it lifts up all the other habitats. So you get more diversity in each of the habitats. Just across the way, we have the Cienega. Along with that, we have the fields, the open areas, you can get a lot of raptors and they have the Santa Cruz River that just flows right over here. So as birds migrate, they come and they kind of go right across the bend, see Canoa Ranch and take advantage of the habitats here. Over here, we have the pollinator garden. And what's fascinating about uh, pollinator gardens is, is you have to look at a, a more holistic perspective because the flowers are only part of the story. My name is Jeff Babson. And I'm the Wildlife Viewing Program Specialist for the Pima County Department of Natural Resources, Parks and Recreation. And we are at the newest addition to Historic Canoa Ranch, the Pollinator Garden. And it has a whole range of native plants that provide nectar sources and larval food sources for a, a wide variety of, of animals, birds, butterflies, moths, beetles, flies, all kinds of stuff once they get pollinated you will then have the fruit and then the seeds and so you'll have birds like lesser goldfinches and house finches and sparrows and dixisles will come here to feed on um, the seeds that are provided so especially plants in the grass family and the composite family or the aster family those are the seeds that these birds were, were feeding on long before we started putting out feeders for them. So that's going to attract uh, a wide range of seed-eating birds in the winter time. So if you're new to birding, the easiest thing to do, I think, is um, grab a pair of binoculars and just head out wherever you want to go. It could be your backyard, it could be Kanoa Ranch, it could be anywhere. Head out, be observant. Uh, get a field guide. One I like a lot is by Rick Taylor. It's Birds of Southeastern Arizona. It's a red, small red book. It fits in your pocket and off you go. You don't have to go anywhere to begin birding. You can do it in your own yard. You can, you know, if you're taking your dog for a walk, or if you're out walking with your kids, bring your binoculars along and just see what, what you can find. And you won't probably be able to identify a lot when you first get started, that's fine. That's everybody who's ever been a birder has been in the exact same position at one point. It's just a matter of going out and learning every time you go. You can spend a lot of money on it, but you don't have to. There's really nice binoculars available that aren't that expensive. With a small investment, you can have a lifetime of sightings and a lifetime of, of pleasure and a lifetime of travel and all that sort of stuff. If you want to check out Kanoa Ranch, I'd say come on down, it's a great time of year. We're coming into peak migration here, which uh, probably the second week in September is gonna be the hottest as far as migration goes here in Kanoa. I mean, you'll be seeing sparrows, hummingbirds, ducks, and you might even see a, a turner or a gold come in for, for a while here. If you're a little bit new to birding, I'd say we have a bird board right over there that tells all the sightings that we've had in the past month. So it's a good way to orient you, yourself to the birds that are around here at the time. Another good resource is using eBird, which is an application where people put in their sightings. And Kanoa Ranch is, is a hot spot, a popular spot that's listed in a Kanoa Ranch conservation area. And you can actually look online and see what people have been seeing here. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at all the birds that people are seeing here every day. I mean, you can see between 40 and 70 species here if you really want it. The birding community welcomes new people in. We'd love to have you just come on, come on out. And if you see other birders, ask them questions. Most people are, are very welcoming and answering the questions. So yeah, come on out and join the, join the flock, so to speak.